Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Training Reviews. So this is my very first What's In My Camera Bag 2020. So I'm gonna show you everything that I carry with me when I'm doing my filming and my photography. So let's start off with the case. It's a nice, very well-built large case from a company called Eve Case. And I'll be linking all of the things that come in this bag and this actual bag itself into the description below. So let's go ahead and open up the main compartment. There we go. So just starting off, I'm gonna show you first. This is my camera. This is the Sony a7 III, which has a Sigma 24 to 70 DGDN art lens. And I'll have a link in the description for all of these items as well. And if I've reviewed any of these before, I'll uh, link them to that YouTube video as well. So that's my camera there. Next to it, I have a little pocket here, which has my 35 millimeter Sony prime lens as well. So nice little compartment there to keep my other lenses. So that's a very compact one. Next to that is a very nicely built Manfrotto tripod. So this is mainly for smartphones, but you can use this for my camera as well. So I use this when I just want to do a little bit of a macro photography on the desk, or just want to use utilize this and take pictures of close up objects, mainly for my YouTube videos. So I've created a little section here just for that. Coming onto this side here. Now there's a lot of stuff in here. Let me go ahead and pull this out. This is the Feel World F5 4K monitor that goes on top of DSLR and mirrorless cameras. So if you wanted to do recording on cameras that don't have a flip out screen to see yourself, then this is perfect for you. I have a review on this as well, so uh, keep an eye on the link in the description below for that. Now this is connected to a HDMI to mini HDMI connector as well, just so that I can connect to my actual Sony A7 camera. It also has a dummy battery here to power outlet, so I can power the camera using this dummy battery, which is essentially just empty. So perfect little setup there to see myself when I'm recording outdoors. Now to turn on that monitor, you need a battery. So I bought this dual RAV power battery pack for the Feel World F5 monitor as well. So I'm storing that right there. Now there's a little compartment here. You can essentially fit a tablet in there as well. So I used to carry an iPad in there, but I no longer need to. In here, I've got a couple of things. I've got my Aperture LED Pocket flashlight. So if I turn this on, it's a very bright LED light, as you can see here. It's so compact, it's the size of a credit card, so you can dim this as well. It's chargeable, no removable batteries, so I keep that in there. I also have a dual cold shoe mount as well. So if I want to connect maybe a microphone and that pocket LED light onto the top of my camera, then I can do that. Or sometimes I connect the little Fieldworld F5 monitor as well, and then have a microphone separately. So it gives me the options to expand a little bit. And then I also have my Sony camera strap as well for my mirrorless camera. Now let's go ahead, turn this around, and show you what's in the hood. So these tiny little pockets I keep in here my Rode Wireless Go microphones. So there's the transmitter and receiver set in each of these pockets as well. So I leave them there, it's the perfect size for that. Slot them in. And this little pouch here, I keep all of my microphone related cables. So let me go ahead and show you what these are. So this is a microphone cable that is actually a spitter for your laptops. So if you want to use the headphone and the actual microphone, then you can do it separately through here. So if I wanted to use, for example, the Rode Wireless Go on my MacBook, then I will need to use this by putting this into the headphone jack. This is the Rode SC7 patch cable. It allows me to use my Rode Wireless Go with smartphones. So if you have an iPhone or an Android, then uh, you can connect that using this. And this is the standard microphone cable that came with the Rode Wireless Go to connect that to your cameras. And I also have some wind protection sleeves here and also a wired lavalier mic as well if I just wanted to use that rather than the wireless one. So that's all my microphone related cables which I'm storing in this pouch here. Right, let's go over to the front. So in here we have a few items. I've got a microfiber cloth in each of these pouches here. So these are for cleaning my lens and for the sensors inside my camera. And then you also have another cleaning tissue paper kit here as well for lenses. So it's a slightly different material to the microfiber lens. There's a limited amount of these. 
So if you really wanted to keep your lens clear of any spots or marks, then this is the way to go. So all my cleaning stuff is just there on the front. I have some more cleaning products on the side pouches. So going on to the left hand side here, this is a cleaning solution that you spray onto your lens and clean it with the microfiber cloth. But there's also a couple of different things in the pouches here as well. I also have the Sony wireless remote, which I connect to Bluetooth. So I can start and stop recording uh, if I'm filming by myself. And there's also a cable that I've got in here. This is a cable for my gimbal and it's the uh, Feo Tech AK2000S. This allows me to connect my camera to the gimbal without having to worry about any of the Bluetooth settings, which may sometimes cut off. So that's a direct connection between the camera and the gimbal. Keep that in that pouch there. On the other side, there's a full set of cleaning equipment. So you have the air blower and you have a couple of brushes as well to clean your lens, which came with the set of the microfiber cloths there on the front. So that's the um, only thing I keep on the left hand side. You also have the additional pouch if you want to put anything in there as well. And last but not least, there's a zip at the back as well. So plenty of compartments in this camera bag. Here, I've just got another separator. So if I wanted to put this inside the main compartment, maybe do another split, then I can do that with this additional one here. So I just put that back there. You also have a little handle there. So if you want to carry this on a suitcase, for example, then you can clip that on there. And this also comes with a carry strap, which I've kept separately. So that's about it guys. That's everything that comes in my camera bag 2020. Let me know if there's anything that you carry in your camera equipment bags that is not mentioned here and let everyone know down below. Now remember, I'll put all of the links to everywhere I've purchased each individual item in this bag, including the bag. And if I reviewed any of these items separately in a different YouTube video, I'll link that YouTube video next to the item links as well. So hopefully that was useful guys. If you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. I hope you subscribe and I'll catch you guys at the next one. Take care.